Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good morning. Uh, in this video, we will be discussing about the ex situ conservation, an example, per, an, an example purpose, the type of species f found and its importance. Uh, ex situ conservation means off-site conservation and is a process of conserving an endangered species or variety outside its natural habitat. An example of ex situ conservation conservation site in Malaysia would be Frim in Bangan Datuk, Perak. Uh, this site holds many different types of mangrove trees where most of them are endangered species. Uh, that's all. The importance of the mangrove ecosystem is a source of food and medicine. The fruit of Abyssinia species can be consumed as a vegetable, while the nut can be boiled and, and eaten whereas its flower produces honey. Then, the fruit of Sonoratia species is used in the production of drinks. The fruit of Nipah species can be eaten and water from the fruit can be used in the production of vinegar and mirror. Lastly, the bark of Bulgaria species tree can be used to treat diarrhea. Mangrove ecosystem also works as fishery resources. Sea products such as fish, shrimps, crabs, and sea snails become a source of income for fishermen living near the mangrove areas. The wetlands in mangrove areas are conducive for fish, fish rearing and floating cages and also for breeding commercial species. So another importance of mangrove ecosystem is that the mangrove ecosystems play a vital role as protection zone where the mangroves serve as natural barrier and that helps protect coastline from the erosive forces of waves, tides and storm surges. Their extensive root systems stabilize the, store, the shoreline and reduce the impact of coastal erosion by collecting sediments from rivers and ocean tides around their roots. These sediments build up and strengthen the shoreline. In addition to this, the mangrove ecosystems also provide habitat for a wide variety of species where the roots serve as a nursery for the larvae of many fish species, such as mudskippers, toxotidae, and marine catfish. This is where fish can develop into adults before moving out to the big unforgiving ocean. In fact, around one-third of all marine fish species are sheltered from predators in mangrove forests as juveniles. This supports the sustainable sustainability of fisheries by replenishing stocks. So furthermore, the biodiversity within mangrove ecosystems can enhance the resilience of these habitats to environmental stressors such as rising sea levels, pollution, and climate change. Different species play unique roles in nutrient cycling, habitat building, and overall ecosystem function, which collectively contribute to the ecosystem's adaptability. Moreover, the mangrove forests offer protection and safety for birds. The dense tangle of tree roots and vegetation provides hiding places and refuge from predators. This is especially important for migratory birds that are often exhausted from their long flights and need secure locations to rest and feed without constant treat. Aside from the mangrove plants, which dominate the ecosystem as producers, many other species of flora and wildlife have adapted to life in the mangrove forest. Furthermore, decomposers such as bacteria and fungi decompose dead organisms into nutrients for plants. The food web that these organisms create contributes to the dynamic equilibrium of the mangrove forest. Examples of creatures that can be found in the mangrove system include the horseshoe crab, snack, mudskipper, and silver leaf monkey. Did you know that a mangrove forest is, ho is home to the bug known as the, as the firefly? The mangrove region in Kampung Kuantan, Kuala Selangor is well known for its fireflies therapeutic dinner. Mangrove trees have unique characteristics that help the species survive in unstable environments. Mangrove leaf contain succulent leaves that can store water and a specific structure known as hydatot that helps to expel excess salt. It can also store salt which will fall off if the concentration of salt stock becomes too high. The roots of mangrove 
Tetris come in a variety of shapes and sizes, including pneumatophore roots which use lenticles to exchange gases with the atmosphere above the submerged root. In addition, trees with prop roots like rhizophora species that are securely planted in the ground can be supported to withstand severe winds and waves. Last but not least, buttress roots, a form of thick structured root that can help to extend the base of a tree like Birgaria species. As humans, it is our responsibility to do all possible ways to preserve the mangrove forest so that the ecosystems, species of flora and animals can survive for a very long time. So how can we protect mangroves? We can start by removing barriers to restore natural tidal flows. We can also establish buffer zones between coastal habitats and adjacent development to prevent re destruction of mangrove habitats. Lastly, disposing of rubbish and chemicals responsibly will greatly help in the protection of mangroves. The most successful method of restoration is by creating the right conditions for water flows to enable natural regeneration or recolonization. Trees are crucial to a healthy world as they support the planet with many vital functions. They store carbon and provide habitat and resources for animals, plants, and fungi. The mangrove is a tree family unlike any other. Mangroves support many different systems and creatures in their coastal habitats and provide local communities and the planet with a long list of benefits. Most trees cannot survive in salt water, but mangroves have adapted to live in high salinity environments along coasts around the world. One of the reasons that mangroves can live in such harsh conditions is their unique root systems. Their extensive roots help the trees stay upright in soft, waterlogged soils, giving them access to oxygen and nutrients. Thanks to these roots, healthy mangrove ecosystems provide habitat, nesting, and nursery grounds for many organisms such as crabs, fish, sloths, and oysters. They also act as natural barriers by trapping sediment to build up and reinforce soils, which helps to protect millions of people from polluted runoff, storm surges, and erosion damage that threaten coastal communities. Mangroves also have special leaves that help them thrive in salty or brackish water. Some mangroves even filter that salt water through pores on their leaves. Pretty cool, right? Well, these trees have another key job that makes them vital in protecting the planet from climate change. They store carbon in their leaves, and when those leaves fall off and sink into the mud and silt, they become what is known as blue carbon or carbon that is stored underwater. Mangrove forests cover just 0.1% of the planet's surface, but store up to 10 times more carbon per hectare than terrestrial forests. Mangrove forests are one of the most important coastal ecosystems for storing carbon, providing critical habitat, and protecting coastal communities. Sadly, mangroves are disappearing from coasts around the world at a distressing rate. Farming, development, and aquaculture, such as shrimp farming, all pose major threats to mangroves. Sea level rise is also limiting mangrove habitat. While mangroves can migrate further inland as ocean levels rise, development of coastal areas limits where they can grow. The benefits of mangroves are immense, and as our planet rapidly changes, planting mangroves is becoming more important than ever. One Tree Planted is actively supporting mangrove restoration projects throughout Asia and Latin America, including Costa Rica, the Philippines, India, Haiti, and Guatemala. To learn more about these magnificent trees and get involved with protecting our forests, check out our website and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching!